Hey Pisces, welcome to your second half of a February reading, which of course will be Pisces season, so your solar return. Happy birthday guys, if you are a February Pisces. This is a general reading and will not resonate with everybody unfortunately. But I do personal readings and my email is in the description box as always along with information about what different decks of cards I use in all my videos. So let's see, we have Ten of Pentacles and Ace of Pentacles here. So I feel like um, as, as we do have Mercury going into retrograde on the 17th of February, um, you may have some like money hiccups or, you know, um, delays because tens are about ending. So if money's been good, I see like a little bit of money troubles. You may have to ask people, hey, can I have that money you owe me? Or there may be some sort of trouble getting paid here. Um, just because it's, you know, Pisces season and um, the retrograde, I feel like there may be some money mayhem. You may have to chase down people who owe you money or supposed to pay you money or something like that you may have to get like a loan or some sort of financing um during this time that might be like the main focus at the end of february here or maybe even job hunting okay so let's see it could be um an offer of a stable relationship um maybe from an earth sign as well there so let's see Okay, the moon. So you may be, um, my friend always says um, their hidden money or their money that's locked away, they mean what they're manifesting, okay? So somebody could have money secrets, okay? Like hiding certain money from you or hiding that they have money problems for you, which could create problems for you. So if they're hiding it from you and you're in this stable relationship or a marriage or something here, um, it could break down because of money, right? Because some money secrets are going on here. So I would be um, very careful about listening to your intuition during this time. Um, that's the moon. I feel as well you may have to reflect on what you've spent. If you've been overspending, um, maybe spending more than you're earning as well during this time Pisces season. Hopefully it's your birthday, so you're going to get some birthday money here. Um, but I feel like it's some sort of financial problem during the retrograde, and it will be until March 10th, the retrograde. You know, Mercury is always um, causing problems, mainly about communication. So Maybe somebody's told you, I'm going to get your money to you this day, or you're going to get paid that day, and they're keeping some sort of secret from you where you don't end up getting your money that day. Like I said, if you if you need to look for a job or things like that, it's time to do it now. Okay, so the star and the justice here. It could be that, you know, you're going through a divorce and somebody's trying to hide some sort of money from you. Um, not want to pay you what you're owed, not to want to be fair towards you. Things like that can be happening for you right now, Pisces. Um, maybe some sort of karma coming in and it sort of hits your finances. Um, because I see the star reversed and it's like things not lining up for you as maybe expected or not going your way. It could be that you also catch like a flu or a cold during this time. If you have to go to court and things like that, um, or you may find yourself having to go to court or maybe because maybe it's some sort of child maintenance or something like that going on. But I'd be very careful at this time with your money. Trust your intuition. You may feel like you're going in blind. But trust your intuition here. Don't use logic. Tr trust your intuition. Because it seems like it's going to be very difficult for you. 
I don't know, maybe some unexpected bills or something. And that's why your finances are more important right now than maybe a romance for you. If it's a romance here, I would feel like an earth sign or a Libra or an Aquarius um, kept some secrets from you and a very stable relationship came to an end. It could have been even a relationship um, that was a marriage or like, you know, where you've been cohabiting. So it's like common law marriage, a very, very stable relationship that seemed destined ended here because of lies, because of unfair treatment, um, could have been a karmic partner, entered the relationship or this was a karmic partner. Queen of Wands here now. So it's like another person entering here. Hmm, Pisces, is your birthday, so we'll delve a little bit deeper. <clears throat> I feel like you may need to take like extra efforts in protecting yourself from the evil eye. Um some people call it Nuzza, some people call it evil eye, um, some people call it black magic, like somebody trying to curse you or something here. This could be um, a karmic partner who interfered with your destiny with the star. And this person could even be sort of like... Um, like a temptress or um, doing some sort of spells because that's the queen of um, one sort of energy. Sort of like she can do this magic but maybe not in with the right intention. So maybe stopping, you know, preventing destiny happens. I mean, we all have free will, so do remember that. Um, but it could be some sort of spell that's been put on um, maybe your partner or something like that or a hex that was put on your marriage to break down your marriage or on your finances so your finances don't go to plan yeah the world and it came out reversed there so it's like the situation like seems never-ending or won't close down you can't get closure from this because um, somebody's interfering with it. That's just one possibility here, okay? So, <clears throat> let me take a look again. So, okay. I definitely feel like there's a cycle not over. Um, you haven't got the answers here because it's being kept a secret from you. Things are being hidden from you here. Um, it's sort of like... it could feel like it's holding up your life or your destined path here um so you feel like you should move on or you should move forward but you just quite can't seem to quite get moving here i feel like you get like these false starts so you know like at the beginning of a race and um maybe the you know the starting man starts off the race with a bang and then you get going just before the bang and then it has to restart so it's like it keeps resetting i think it's because there's a karmic partner involved with a person you're meant to be with here so i guess i'm gonna have to do pisces again because this seems very pacific it it could be um possible that you attract somebody who's very attractive and very good at business but maybe even a con artist somebody's keeping a secret from you here the high priestess trust your intuition i've warned everybody about this during pisces season um, it's best to trust your intuition, even if logic dictates something else, trust your intuition here, um, because it's like there's some secrets to come out, I do feel they will, um, waiting on divine timing um, and a second chance, um, because this is like judgment day, you know, when the horn blows and the dead awaken here, um, you're definitely waiting on 
a, a specific time frame when this can happen, when this can all be exposed. So you might be waiting to expose somebody or somebody could be waiting to expose you. I highly doubt a Pisces would be watching this video if they're going to be exposed, but it may be somebody trying to wrongly expose you and trying to sort of put dirt on your name even. So yeah, I feel like there's something very deep going on here. A second chance will be given. Mm. Seven of Cups. A second chance will be given once this other option is taken care of, but until then, this can't get back on track this destined love affair and things like that it's just you're like confused why did it end why what did this happen this person interfered so this person knew that they had um a romantic partner already and they still went ahead and tried to break down a solid relationship a marriage or something um it could be that your person is still in this third party because it's in the heart of the reading so it's still very much in the center of what's going on and stopping um you know this destined event to happen this second chance here but the cycle's not over the world is reversed the time will come you just have to trust your intuition it's like going through um this time blindly i feel like you may be waiting for a birthday message um and I don't think it'll come. This person's going to put a stop to it. Um, you know, you may feel like, I can feel it coming. It's justice. It's like the time. It's the right time. But, because you'd feel like, okay, it's coming up to my birthday. So they could reach out to me. It's a perfect opportunity. But they're being blocked here by somebody else. Outside interference. It could even be like a friend bumps into them and says no don't contact them leave them alone you've caused enough problems for them you know even like at the goodness of their heart so it's like they're confused what do i do so it could be a very confusing time for you where you should really be choosing a new life path a new job um, it seems like it's all being held up and tied into this, a situation that happened that, like I said, could very well be somebody putting some sort of curse on you, or you could feel like your family's cursed. You would need to break the chain here, break the cycle. It can be like um, a karmic debt in your family, in your bloodline, and you need to break that cycle. Good luck, guys.